Hello, my name is Justin. Welcome to Jazz Noir Studios. Today I'm going to be doing something called the Art Snacks Challenge. If you don't know what Art Snacks is, it's a monthly mystery art supply subscription box. Uh, yeah, you, you kind of have to make something with all the stuff that's in there. I thought it might be interesting to make, uh, I don't know, some kind of uh, fan art or something with this stuff. Uh, full disclosure, uh, this channel and uh, video is not sponsored by Art Snacks. Um, pretty sure they don't even like me because sometimes they'll send me a box that doesn't even have a pretzel sticker in it. And it's like, what's the point, right? Why, why, why would I get, why would I get a box that it didn't come with a sticker? That's like the whole reason I. So uh, let's get cracking. Let's open it up and see what's in there. <clears throat> Got my uh, box cutter from work. Where I cut boxes for a living. Okay. Um, I don't know what's going on. I think they sent me a poster. I don't know what that is. That's uh... all right. Oh, a lifesaver. Oh, man. I actually do like those. Okay. Uh, so they send you... Um, I think this is a specialty box. I don't know what this is. ABT Pro alcohol-based markers. What? Mono J drawing pencils. They sent me pencils and markers? That's like... That's like my whole bag, bro. You better not laugh because I said whole bag. It's my job. I'm actually kind of happy now, but there better be a sticker in here. Uh, I guess this is marker paper, or they just decided to send me trash. I guess we'll find out in a second. <clears throat> oh no, you didn't! They sent. Look at that. That's really cool. That two. You guys. You're all right. Okay, they sent me two stickers, I think. I think those are stickers. I'm kind of afraid to read the, the description of contents, but, um... Because it, if it turns out they're not stickers, I'm just gonna... Or, like, decals, I'm just gonna be bummed out. And I'm gonna threaten, um... Well, not Art Snacks, but... The person who didn't put stickers in here. Don't act cute. I know what you do, all right? First thing, we got a, uh... mono drawing pen that's really cool i'm actually really excited i saw you stay on your side i saw um tombo right there and i was like all right let's check this out so i got pretty excited about that i was hoping it might be like drawing pens or or like inking pens or something like that uh really happy with mm, what i got I got a Made in Japan for high precision drafting pencil. That's pretty cool. Uh, HB or HB for my friends who pronounce H differently. Um, and then I got sweet markers, bro. Chisel and brush nib. These are all really cool. Um, they are really vibrant colors, but like. I'm hoping that they kind of desaturate a little bit as you as you mix them. I I don't know if these are going to be like highlighters. It's Tombow. I'm sure it's fine. I I it's fine. It's probably fine. <clears throat> Get this crinkly business out of here. So far, really happy with this. This is right up my alley. I never like the term "right up your alley." Um, cause every time somebody said that to me, I thought they were about to insult me. Yeah, like right up your alley. All right. You're out. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, mono drawing pencils, HB and 2B. I only got one. It's looking like I was supposed to get two. Um, I guess they sent you stuff based on your your subscription packet. So if you if you order like the forty dollar box, you probably got like twelve of these, twelve of these markers. 
but since I only do like the 20, 20, 25, uh, whatever, then it's going to be the five pack. But I did get two sweet stickers. That's all I care about, to be honest with you. I'm going to throw away the rest of this stuff. Cool. So I've actually got way better stuff than I thought uh, I would have. So uh, I'm going to jump into making the thing, and then the thing will be made. And then so will the video. Uh, and I got, I got a rubber band out of it. How often do you get rubber bands out of things? Not often. So, I'm going to save that for later. That's my treat when I finish. Incentive. Now i got to think about what I'm going to make. These are really bright colors. All right, let's get started. All right, I hope you're excited, because I'm excited. I get to unveil a brand new segment called... What the heck is this color? Because I don't know. I, the longer I looked at this marker in my hand right here, uh, the more I was convinced it was a blue-green, but I, my gut instinct was telling me it's purple. Um, but this is my... I think I just landed on a purple. I'm not sure where I landed. I, I, don't, I don't know what I decided. Let me know in the comments what, what you see. Uh, I know that the, the color probably isn't like super visible here, but... Uh, let me know what, what it is you're seeing. I'm sure it's like stupid obvious to you what it is, and I'm going to feel like a fool, like a foolish fool. Anyway, so as you can see here, I'm making a um, color multiplication table. Uh, I've only got five colors, so just like 25 little swatches of color mixing just to let me know what the colors look like when they blend, what they look like next to each other, how well they match what they uh, look like on the dispensing utensil. And this is really just like to help me get used to the the markers, see what they can and can't do. Uh, it turns out they're okay at blending, they're just not great. Uh, with such bold colors, it, it's kind of tricky to, to play with it. Um, to understand what it is I can I can do with it, what I can make. Um, the pen was pretty cool. I, I, I liked playing with the pen. I felt like it was kind of conducive to my style. It was pretty... It glided pretty well. Glid? Glided. It drew pretty well, and uh, I had fun with it. The uh, The pencil's fine. I mean, it's a, it's a pencil, you know. Um... I don't I don't get too bogged down in the uh, specifics of pencils. I, I really just use them to sketch whenever I have a pen. Anyway, uh, I haven't I don't think I've done a straight up pencil drawing like only pencil drawing in years, probably since I was in college, probably for like a final or something like that. So I landed on Daredevil, uh, as you could probably tell from uh, the colors I have. It is not going to be the daredevil that you are probably used to seeing, the, the all red and possibly sometimes black uh, daredevil. I chose the yellow and brown daredevil because I like it. I don't I don't know what it is about it. The, the longer I stared at these colors, the more I was like, I'm just going to draw daredevil. I just got to draw daredevil. <laughs> uh, it, it was just uh, it was just something I it, it, it was calling to me from this page. There's something about that costume. It's it's kind of funky looking. It's weird. I, I don't know the story behind why he chose that costume. Um, I don't know a whole lot about that that history, but uh, I do know that that's one of my favorite uh, costume changes uh, from. From Marvel, I, I I didn't really care for the one where he's got like a bunch of armor on. I think that was late '80s, early '90s, or something like that. Um, that one felt kind of weird, but for some reason, I like this one. And I don't, I can't even tell you what era this is from. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of drawing the uh, the figure lightly uh, with the pencil, kind of getting an idea for where the shadows are going to be, what the anatomy is going to look like. I went for uh, a body style similar to something that I felt like. Uh, John Buscema, 
Busima, Steve Buscemi, John John Buscema. I've I never remember how to pronounce his name, but he's one of my favorite artists from uh, early Marvel days. Uh, I went with a body type similar to something like I felt like maybe he would draw. Um, still have a lot of my style in there, not quite as masterful as as he would have done it, but. Um, I like the underdrawing, actually. I think that came out fine. Uh, I started running into problems when I started adding color. And uh, this is... I've talked about this before. When I say, like, I, I start to, like, kind of fear adding color to things, it's because sometimes uh, things like this will happen. Um, I even... I played with the idea... I'll be honest with you. I, I played with the idea of just, like, not not using this drawing and doing a different drawing um, because I consider this one um, a, a failure to an extent I, I, I wasn't I just wasn't happy with it but if you read the about page of this channel uh, that's not what I'm doing uh, I'm not I'm not just gonna show you the the times where I I feel successful with a drawing I'm gonna show you the times that I fail uh, and if you if you read the whole thing, you'll see that I will I will try again. So uh, I didn't knock it out of the park this time, but uh, I'm gonna try Daredevil again someday, and and I think uh, that one I'm not gonna stop until I <laughs> I get it right. But uh, I think this works for a sketch. I think this works for like a, a quick concept, like you know, uh, just kind of feeling out what uh, what a, a final product would be. Also. Uh, side question. Let me know what you guys think of this new camera angle that I'm trying out. Uh, I know it's a slightly lower resolution, but I like it just because it's a closer look at the art supplies that uh, I'm pulling out of the box. Uh, let me know if it bothers you guys a whole bunch. If not, I'll probably just keep doing it. Uh, anyway. So, for the, the dark browns on his chest, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of adding all of the colors to kind of make that dark uh, brown color and it's it's not really working great but it's uh, all these colors are, are just kind of too too powerful to uh, to play with the way the way I'm, I'm used to using markers uh, a limited palette is a uh, is gonna be a problem I guess regardless of what colors you have but uh, that's kind of where I, I felt it the most I mean, overall, I still had fun with this drawing. I still had, uh, I still had fun drawing Daredevil. He's a pretty cool character. Uh, he wasn't always my favorite, but uh, for a while, his his series was taken over by one of my favorite artists, Alex Maliev. And uh, I I have been on a quest to collect every single issue. I think I'm only missing one um, right now from that series, but I'll get it. I'll get it one of these days. Don't you worry about it. And I hope you feel encouraged by this particular failure. I, we don't always get it right. We don't always uh, get the end result that we wanted. But that's, uh, that's only fuel to push us to a success in the future. Because even failure has its purposes. Uh, you, you, you've heard that quote that uh, you can always learn. You probably learn more from failure than you do success. That's got to be paraphrased. It's unlikely the person who said that uh, said it as choppy as I did. Anyway, uh, <laughs> remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you always know when new videos are coming out, and... Let me know if you like this video. If you didn't like this video, uh, just keep watching it until you do. Uh, I think that's fair. You know. I'd watch your video until I liked it. <laughs> Alright, it's getting late. I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, so... <clears throat> not great. But it's okay. I mean, the bright side is I still get my candy. So I had a little more trouble with the uh, 
uh, color mixing than I thought I might. Um, I think uh, considering uh, is probably not great there. I'm gonna scan it in. I'll, I'll put it up on my uh, my Facebook page. But um, <clears throat> overall, I'm okay with it. You know, it, it was a uh, it's kind of a funky costume. That's kind of why I chose it. I had these like really um, bold colors, so. Um, color mixing is always going to be hard for me and I just I kind of have to work around it no matter what colors I have um, <clears throat> but uh, overall I'm okay with it you know you win some you lose some this one uh, I feel like I won a lifesaver so win uh, art snacks can send me more stickers if they want to don't skip on the stickers okay you make a very powerful enemy Think for a second that I won't get all up next to your face and tell you to get me more stickers. You're dead wrong. Now I'll bury <clears throat> Anyway, so uh, check out my Facebook page. I usually upload the uh, final products on there, Jazz and War Studios at Facebook. And uh, I'll probably do an Instagram uh, sometime in the future. I'm not sure when, but. <clears throat> we'll see when that takes off uh, otherwise thanks for watching um, I'll see you guys in the next video until that day Godspeed <laughs>